Ladies and gentlemen, what's happening? Welcome to the Detox Dudes. I just wanted to get my camera going when I make uh, this quick juice. I figured it could be beneficial to all of you. This is a gut healing remedy, my friends. Gut healing, what does that mean? Why is it important? Well, we have to heal the gut because it's our central channel for detoxification, okay? What's going on in the health world is that everyone wants to get rid of the toxins as quickly as possible. We hear about parasites, we hear about metals, and we freak out and say, how do we get rid of it as quickly as possible? Well, that is logic, my friends. That's very logical. And unfortunately, in this healing journey, logic doesn't really pay off that much. So, what we have to do is go a little deeper than logic, okay? And actually, if you once you understand it, it's actually quite logical that you would heal the gut first, knowing how the detoxification uh, of the body works, okay? So, gut healing is an ongoing process, right? Taking care of the flora in your gut and the gut lining. It's not just a phase of your life and then you're done. You gotta keep doing it. You gotta keep taking care of your gut, keeping it healthy. This is the brain. This is the life force, baby, right here. We take care of this, we take care of our brains. Okay, so I've talked a lot about gut healing, you know, things, awesome things like licorice root, colostrum, acacia fiber, um, what else do I like? Um, binders are great, um, slippery elm, glutamine, bone broth. Another awesome addition to the repertoire of gut healing or rather the arsenal, is purple cabbage, okay? Now, of course, you can eat purple cabbage, and that's great. And you can eat, make kimchi with it and, and do whatever you'd like with it. But I think one of the best ways of getting our purple cabbage is uh, through juicing it, okay? So I'm going to put this juicer on real quick. I'm going to make myself a quick little gut healer. present you see look at that I'm putting the freaking juice right onto the wood can you see that oh my god I'm, I'm moving and uh, I'm moving to the Bay Area and I'm a little bit of a mess right now I'm not gonna lie a little bit of a mess alrighty I promised myself I was going to take a whole week off filming, but I just can't seem to do that. I got purple cabbage flying everywhere. There's something in purple cabbage that's not in green cabbage. It's an uh, antioxidant. It's found in the, uh, the purple cabbage is found in more acidic soils. So it's got something called uh, anthocyanin, I believe. And that's uh, a very specific antioxidant that's found in purple cabbage that helps with reducing inflammation in the gut and uh, helps with healing the gut lining. Okay, so half the juice is on the table here. The ants will get to enjoy it. But for the other half, I'll drink it in front of you. Purple cabbage. Heal the gut, baby. Heal the gut, heal your life. It's not the worst tasting. I think there's a genetic mutation where some people like just simply can't tolerate cabbage. 
I don't have that mutation because it doesn't really bother me, but some people apparently just like want to vomit at the sight of cabbage. So, in all seriousness here, awesome addition to a gut healing protocol. Remember, we can't heal our guts without removing the metals and the junk, but we can for damn sure start the process, right? That's the common thing I hear is, hey Josh, you talk about gut healing, but how could I heal my gut if I have metals in there? Well, you don't heal your gut all the way, but you at least start the process of sealing the holes so that what your poop doesn't you know, leak all the chemicals and toxins in your stool don't re get reabsorbed into the bloodstream. This is how we create an efficient system in place for detoxification. This is how you create a stable foundation for yourself to do the heavy duty stuff like chelating metals and really destroying parasites. And, and, you know, and then furthermore, when you start doing that stuff, you have to go back to gut healing too. You know, you have to, it's, it's a process. It has to continuously be worked on. Um, but there's no doubt about it that uh, detoxifying the body as quickly as possible is a recipe for disaster. Slow and steady. If you don't believe me, go chelate some metals. See for yourself, know for yourself. Cheers to a better gut and a better life. Peace.